Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to active other languages in Odoo. And in case you missed previous discussion about Odoo translation, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the Weblands, you can see the playlist. And here you can see Odoo development playlist available with different topic wise with the real test cases and in case you need any support related odoo you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address source code also available in the github make sure you can follow that repository and if you want to support this channel using many ways buy me coffee paypal or using this join button let's back to our main topic like how you can active other languages except the english so by default Odoo supports English language, but let's say you want to change your interface in another languages, right? So Odoo also supports almost 85 languages. So for that, you have to go to in the settings in translation here. After that, you can see here this languages and here you can see 85 languages by default Odoo provides, but all are the deactivated except this English. How you can also rectify like this is only active one because you can see here this is the active field and it's only take for this language all right so that's the reason you can identify how many languages activated currently in this database so let's say i want to translate i want to add arabic language right so for that one you can see here this is the arabic one and simple i will try to click to this button and here if i will click to this languages you can see different languages available right so simple i will try to choose the simple arabic not this arabic syria all right i'm choosing right now as a normal one and let's say override exit existing terms so let's say terms means this one like you can see here in the interface it's written in the english right so there is a uh, some files in the back end side it will automatically translate this english to the arabic one okay so there are a lot of file structure also available don't worry i will try to explain almost all the topics so first thing is i will try to add this language so before that let me go to let me duplicate this tab i'm going into the user interface okay here let's say this is the admin and i want to like change my another languages right so you can see here by default english is only available right english us right now after that once i will click to this one it will automatically add so you can see here it's message also available like this arabic has been successfully installed let's say you want to switch directly to the Arabic interface right so you can click to this one or else you can close this one and now if i will try to refresh the page okay and now i want to see how many languages available here you can see two languages available now let me change from here let's say i want to change to the arabic so what is the difference here right so let's check here in this first tab now you can see right this is the changes here you can see so it's settings right then after let's say the user company and groups available right and this is the translation part so like this way it will automatically change let's say if i will go to the student profile here you can see still few informations is let's say the label name is still available in the english right but rest you can see the interface it's available in the arabic one let me go to here in the cells right and here if you see here this header part it's almost changed into the arabic except the english one right and if i will click to here almost labels you can see here the field labels including the fields also change right 
so this is the way you can active the language now let's back to the english version and i will refresh the page and now it comes to the english version right now let's say i want to translate in another language so for that let's say hindi and i will try to active add and let me switch directly to this language now you can see still it's same like a uh, english words and right why because you can see here the cells the menus is not available in the it it's not automatically translate into this hindi language but you can see the button is translated into hindi after that you can see the time is also available in the hindi so here that means like uh, the this language doesn't support the hindi version of this label names uh, they only have a limited interface for the hindi version so due to that you can see only few things right not like the arabic one and here if i will try to refresh the page right and here if i will go to the preferences you can see current language is hindi and here in this language field we can only see the activated languages so let me switch to the english version let me refresh the page and let me again go to the settings translation and languages you can see three languages available right but let's say the question is for the normal users how they can translate from one language to another right because they don't have a settings access rights so let's say if they have a student profile access rights right after that they have to go to here in this menu right top menu here you can, they can go to the preferences after that you can see the language time zone they can change they can also change the notification then after the email address right then after the statuses you can see like this and your email signature right and here this is the two way uh, two factor authentication and the developer key they can also generate so now let's say i will try to choose the arabic one okay and once i will save it will automatically refresh this patch with this arabic knots here and if i will go to here in the cells right you can see like this and let's say i want to change again so again this is the same step like preferences and here i will choose english so this is for the normal user and let's say as an admin they can change any languages uh, for the specific user using this user profile okay after that in the settings so here you can see accept these languages right you can see here four also menus available so let's say export translation so here odoo provides the one another functionality which is very good let's say which language you want to translate right so let's say i want to translate arabic one so you want like it will also provide us some format csv format po file or tgjad archive file okay and after that we have to select here the module name okay so here we have to just uh, select those more uh, modules and then after if you will click to this export button it will automatically generate this po file and that po file we can also update and then after we can easily import here and here we have to provide the language name free text name i mean in the here like we can provide here like english or let's say arabic or let's say hindi or let's say any other languages okay let's say tamil or any any other languages then after that language code also available so that is the short name to understand to recognize that language so let's say by default this english is available right but beside this tag you can see this local code right this local code we need to provide here so not here but here and it should be available in odoo otherwise it won't be work after that 
you have to choose that file which you already translated and then after you can click to this import and auto automatically override those terms okay so that's the purpose of these two things don't worry i will try to explain this one with the practical example okay after that you can see this translated if you go to here the maximum available translation also available here so let's say you can see this add-ons is already installed on your system right so this is the english name and what about the arabic name right so it is also available here like this for which field you can see here this is the python file this is the base module this is the code and it's already translated you want to also create some extra right directly from here without this import or export that is also possible you can directly click here let's say web lunch right and if i will go to here in the translations and i will try to let's say arabic oh so there is a no meaning in the arabic available right so let's say oh do okay it's available so i will try to copy this one and i will paste here free text after that you have to select this you have to provide the model name and it is the code and to translate to translate it like this all right so right now i will try to delete this one i will show you the practical okay with the real tasks and this is the generic machine term after that like you want to again rewrite regenerate the missing terms right you have to just select let's say arabic or hindi and you if you click to this button it will regenerate those translation okay so it is depends on how many modules how many views right you are using so based on that it will generate here the translations so this is the simplest way you can active the different languages other than the english language okay if you have any doubt related this discussion please comment below and see you in next session